Many women come into my clinic wondering whether they have a prolapse or maybe they've been told they have a prolapse and they're concerned that their vagina is falling out. It's a real concern and it creates a lot of fear and anxiety around that. So what is a prolapse? A prolapse is when one of your pelvic organs or more of pelvic organs falls from their normal position. So that can be the bladder, the rectum, the uterus, the small intestine and the urethra. So it's when they slump down from their original position due to soft tissue damage, ligament damage caused by things such as constipation. So you may never have had a baby or been pregnant, but you can still have a prolapse because you're constipated and have been pushing uh, out all your life. Chronic coughing. So someone, let's say they have bronchitis, they're coughing all the time. That creates a downward force on the pelvic organs. Childbirth, so a vaginal childbirth, creates prolapse because there's drag into the vaginal walls. Being pregnant and going into, into full term, that creates a lot of downward pressure. Also things like high impact sports. So those that are doing repetitive high impact sport can create a downward force on the pelvic organs and therefore create some prolapse too. Also aging and hormonal changes and even the type of tissue you have. So if you have a lot of hypermobility or some genetic disorders that create laxity in the tissue. So what does it feel like? Well, it feels like a bulge usually in the vagina. It feels like something's there that you have to move around on. Sometimes you can actually feel it, something poking out and you wanna push it back in. There can be discomfort when you're having intercourse and it can sometimes create a little bit of stress your incontinence, which means when you're coughing or sneezing or laughing, you dribble a little bit. It can also create a sensation that when you're having a poop that you can't quite get all the poop out. What's going on here? Like, why do you have these symptoms? Well, it's because the vaginal walls that are usually nice and taut become a little bit slumped when there's that downward pressure. So from the front to back, we have the bladder, then the vagina, then the rectum. So imagine a tube, it's nice and taut, and then we have pressure from the top and it's accordion that, that tube. And so the front wall of the vagina can have more laxity and the bladder can fall into that, that potential space, into that tissue. And the same thing happens at the back wall, at the posterior wall, where the rectum can push down into that space. So the walls aren't as tight, as strong, so they have a little bit more um, movement to them and things will drop into that into that tissue. They'll kind of slump into them. So when you're looking into the vagina, what you'll see is if the person's on their back, you'll actually see a slump of tissue in the vagina. This can sometimes be uncomfortable with intercourse because it gets bumped. It can also be uncomfortable because with the posterior wall, with the rectum, which fills up with poop, it's because that's what it's supposed to do, it's like a holding chamber, it can push into a little pocket of the back wall of the vagina and so it feels like you can't avoid the bowel as easily. So do know that even though it's uncomfortable and it's you're concerned with it, with proper care we can resolve or um, minimize many of the symptoms of your prolapse. And I also want to stress how common it is because uh, as we age and our soft tissue changes and we've had um, some damage to our pelvic floor from one reason to the other, how common it is. So most of us have some form of slumping, but it's when it's uh, uncomfortable and you actually have symptoms that we start worrying about prolapse and what to do next. So do make sure that if you have concerns and you have some of these symptoms or someone has talked to you about prolapse that you discuss that with the healthcare provider so that they can direct you to the best uh, care for you. Okay I hope that helps and good luck until then.